Who doesn't like mac and cheese? From the youngest of young to the oldest of old, it's got to be one of the best comfort foods. You serve it up with a piece of sausage and you've got yourself a full meal. And the great thing about this recipe is if you're gluten intolerant, you can eat it. Just switch out the pasta for a gluten-free pasta. Let's get cooking with style. We've got our nice big stock pot. We're gonna mix everything eventually in this. So start off with your milk, and then our ingredients. Cream cheese, mustard, salt, a little bit of turmeric, and we'll throw that in there and start blending this up. It's gonna take about three or four minutes for all this to start to come together, and then we'll start to add the cheese. I'm gonna switch over to a French whip here, or French whisk to incorporate everything. The reason I keep whisking it is because I don't want to scald the milk and I'm trying to get that cream cheese to incorporate in there. All right, you can start to see it's coming to a little bit of a boil, so I'm gonna turn my heat down now. I like to use sharp cheddar and mozzarella to get that stringiness. So we'll put a little bit in and give that a stir. And I'm gonna switch back to my spatula here so I can push everything down the side. And this again is gonna take, you know, however long it does to melt the cheese in. Don't do it too hot because you don't wanna burn this on the bottom. But you do have to keep it moving. You see the tumorac in there, it is a great spice. It really adds a lot of color and it's often used in curries. It's almost like a fondue. How that cheese is starting to melt, you can see those pieces stretching out. I wish you could smell this, it smells so good. Yeah, that's the cheesy sauce we want right there. See that nice stringiness? Look at that. That's the mozzarella in there. I love that. Let's put our pasta in. It's pre-cooked, al dente, so it's not quite cooked all the way through. Look at that, oh yeah. And see the types of noodles I use there, the pasta? This is called ciliantina. Okay, we're gonna put it in our casserole dish. You could eat it right now, but we're gonna bake it. But we'll get most of that cheese sauce in there. Now the breadcrumbs on top with that cheese, the Parmesan in there. Okay, we're ready to go in the oven. 350 for about 25 minutes. Oh, there you go, come to Papa. Nice bubbling mass of cheese and pasta and Parmesan cheese on top. This is gonna be a showstopper and everyone's gonna love it. So we've got that crust on top. We wanna make sure we get that into the serving. Oh man, that smells so good. Now, mac and cheese by itself would be great, but how about a fresh grilled sausage on top of that? Now I'm gonna put a little bit of chives. I have tons of them in the garden. You could use the ends of green onions, but a little bit of chives on top. That is easy comfort food, a nice banga with some mac and cheese, crispy, crunchy breadcrumbs on top. If you'd like this recipe and more, go to our website, cbs8.com recipes. This is going to knock their socks off.